Now another thing I can do is I can group them together. So let's, let's build something here real quick. Let's build something really simple. Let me get one more box. I'm going to build, I'm going to make this one about kind of long and flat. So I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to select the move tool. I'm going to move that up on top of these two boxes. So it's kind of like a, a desk or something. See, I can change the... One of the things you always want to do in a 3D environment is you want to look at your object from all the directions. Because did you notice how when I first built this, it looked like, oh, that's fine. It's, it's right on top of those two boxes. But as soon as I move it, no, it's not. It's floating in the air. That's because you're working in a 3D environment, which is nothing like in 2D. So... In, in 2D, you don't have to worry about that. But in 3D, you have to make sure that all your objects are connected. So I'm going to bring that down. And then I'm going to grab this cube. By the way, you notice the way you change your viewpoint is by grabbing this cube on the right side of your screen and moving around your screen. There you go. So I've got this desk type shape. It shows you where you're looking when you look at that cube. Like it says, I'm looking at the left side. I'll say the top. So we're going to group this together because every time I'm going to do something with this desk, I have to move every part individually. We want to be able to move the desk all together. So you do that by grouping. And the way you do that is you can select at the top of the screen this rectangular selection region. Just select all the objects that you want to be in the group, which are all three that are on the screen in my case. And then what you're going to do is go to the top toolbar and go one, two, three, four over where it says group. I'm going to select group. It gives me a little drop down window. I'm going to select that where it says group. It's going to ask me for a name. I'm going to call it desk. Say OK. And now, if you notice when I select it, it selects the entire desk. This is really nice because now I can move the desk around. If I need to add things to it, I can. But what happens if, if you make a mistake or you need to, you need to undo this group? Like, I, I, like let's say I discovered the uh, cube on the right is not the right shape. Then what I could do is select the desk, select this group. I go back to the top line where it says group. And I'm going to say open. And what open does is it now opens my group so I can make adjustments to it. The cool thing is it pretty much keeps it all together. It just it just opens it so I can make my adjustment. I'm going to slide that in a little bit. And then you can go back and you just say close. So it's just open to make the adjustment and then close. And now I have my desk group again.